When Tony Sieber and Peter Diamandis both said in 2012 that energy would be virtually free in only 10 years, at many points of the year, people mocked them. They said it was ridiculous. That would never happen. The experts said they were wrong. Well, yesterday and today, energy was free across almost all of Europe. This is not a joke. This is not clickbait. It's actually just reality. And it's going to happen more and more and more often as more renewables are built out. This is actually an incredible place to be. What a time to be alive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel from the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I can't hear out of this ear right now. Just ringing, ringing, ringing. So if I sound a bit weird, that's the reason. My apologies. Energy analyst and commentator Gerard Reed said the negative pricing is happening now. He posted a screenshot on LinkedIn of prices quoted on the EPEX spot exchange of the actual literal price people are paying for energy right now. He said free electricity across all of Europe today. Any takers? He said, P.S. It will be the same every weekend in summer. So how long will it be before it's the same every weekend in summer, then on weekdays during summer, then on shoulder seasons to summer, and eventually in winter? I don't know, but it could happen. Remember, some of these experts like Peter Diamandis and Tony Sieber, who actually were told they were crazy, but now they've been proven to be prophets, have been predicting this for many years. And now we're seeing what they said, they said would happen play out before our eyes. This will change the world in a, a number of ways because yes, it's happening in Europe today, but it will eventually happen across most of the planet. Wholesale electricity prices went into negative territory across much of Western Europe, according to reneweconomy.com.au over the weekend and for the entire day in Germany, according to energy analysts. Energy analyst and commentator Gerard Reed posted about this on LinkedIn. And at the same time, Australian electricity markets are already used to long periods of negative prices, particularly during the day when rooftop solar sucks in huge amounts of energy, meaning there's more than enough energy during the day across many parts of Australia. This means large scale wind, solar, and the remaining thermal generators actually have to battle against the excess renewables being created by houses, rooftops all over Australia. Solutions include more storage and demand management, meaning, you know, a way to suck up all this excess power generated during the day, put it into batteries, and many, many billions are being spent on batteries across the world, but in particular in the US and Australia right now, plus switching more loads to times when renewables are producing the highest. No matter what the case may be, no matter the way that people may like to spin this in a negative way, I don't know how they can, but they probably will. The truth is the world is trending towards what Tony Siebert called marginal cost of energy. This is a positive in almost every way fathomable. Originally, when the Industrial Revolution came about, one of the key reasons it happened, one of the key reasons the world was able to move away from an old agrarian peasant-based economy was because of energy costs coming down. Now, only 100 years ago, most of the Western world did not have access to electricity, period. Now they do. Now it's free on many days of the year. That same process will happen across much of the world eventually. It's really maybe a, maybe a little while away, but it will eventually happen. What does that mean for people in Africa, in India, in Southeast Asia? I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's a good thing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.